So today I whacked a tree and I broke my boa, snapped it right off. So I just happened to have a replacement boa system and I thought to myself, okay, I'm gonna replace this stuff. It was not as easy as I thought it was gonna be, so I thought I'd do a short video on a couple of things I quickly learned. Uh, you get this little hex tool with the uh, kit. Once you remove that, the whole thing pops off. The boa kit comes out. This is the wire that goes in there. You're gonna need to cut that out. Once I cut that out, the part that I wanted to show, I had tried, <laughs> I was trying to get it threaded through here, but when I do that, it jams up and it's almost impossible to get through here. It's very frustrating. I'm like, I can't get it through. Like, there's just nothing I can do. So I took a toothpick with a little black tape, tried that. The toothpick would go through, but it was, an, it was such a narrow area, I can't get the, the wire to go through. Well, I was lucky enough to have this little plunger system here. It's a dull tipped needle. And what I can do is I just, I get this thing on the thread. It holds in just enough. You can use it with a normal needle too, just like so. And try to catch it in there. I'll try to move it closer to you. So like that. I'm going to pull it back a little bit so it's a little, a little tight. Now when I come through here, now watch it not work. Now, let's see what I get through here. It comes right through. Uh, that was probably the only way I could do it. It was quite ridiculous. So I do that on both sides of this boot Until I get to the end of it obviously and then I'll come back through here and I'll videotape that portion once I figure that out um, uh, But yeah, this little thing was a lifesaver because I couldn't get it through otherwise it was just hanging up over and over again and you would want to make sure that you're Just make sure that when you're doing this so you don't run into a problem later on that at the ends They're even when you pull tight. Okay. Okay, a couple things I learned uh, with doing this. I got the system all done now. Um, I'm coming back to it. When you're doing this, they suggest that you take the existing boa that you took off and measure it to the new one and cut it. Uh, that will give you the length of the shoe that you probably want to be at. If not, what you would do is you would pull tight. You would pull tight to this, and then you want to be basically by the directions. 10 to 15 centimeters from the boa. Now, the trickiest part is doing the little spindle. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now real quick. If I can find the piece. All right, I wanted to go over the, um, the assembly on the, the boa um, cable to the, the cog. On the boa cog, first of all, you have to make sure that you know whether it's left or right because the, the ratcheting system works a specific way. So this is a left-sided. <clears throat> they work the same. Basically what you want to do is you want to look for that white dot. The white dot is where you're going to feed it in. Then it's going to come out this hole here and then go back in here to tie the knot. Let's see if I can do this now for you on the screen. So we're going to go through white dot come back to that second hole like so now that I have my, my hoop in here I'm going to come back to that third one now I have a long tag end here and the reason why I have this long tag end is so that you can kind of see a little better. All right, so now the trick is here is when I bring this through, I gotta come up over that hoop and then back through it. So I gotta go over, use this to tie, 
I have to go over this one and then come under this one in order for the, the line to line up here. If I go under and over here, it sticks up this way. And when it sticks up that way, it doesn't lock in well. So I'm going to push this through. the hardest part. Pull this back. Okay, now that I got a little bit more here. I'm gonna push this back in here. See so how a little bit, just a little bit of a tag end here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start feeding this thing through so it can cinch it down. I'll use these pliers to kind of cinch it like so. And that kind of locks in. You, you heard that little snap. And that little lock in basically makes it so that you can now tie, tie it around the, the, the spindle. All right, so you would do the same thing with the other side. Now, it doesn't make a difference because when it's rolling up, you're going to put it in the shoe like so, like this, right on the, on the, um, the axle. I'll call it the axle. On the axle. And then the minute it starts spinning, it's gonna roll over itself on this on this dial. So it's the exact same thing on the other side. Let's see if I can show you. So again, you go through the the white side, the white dot, back through the hole next to it. Back through that next hole. like so. When it goes on the shoe, it's just gonna hold like this. And as you dial it, it just rolls in like so. Just like that. You're gonna flip it over so the ratchet's up there the correct way. You're gonna pull it out. Make sure that, the, that it's completely inserted into the ratchet. After you've done that, if I can find the thing, on the side of the boa, you'll find that same hex screw that goes in right here. I'm gonna take this, stick it like so. And now you have a good locking boa, just like that. Um, if this ever gets bashed, like this is what happened to mine, it tore off the top of it, you will have to replace the entire system. You cannot use this piece, I found out. You gotta have this upper, mesh, this upper part in order for it to work properly.